Hey there, hope you're having a good day. Well, this morning I decided to make some banana blueberry muffins, so I thought I would take you along for my little adventure. Um, I'm doubling up the recipe, and I don't know if you're like me, but bananas kind of start to go off and start to go get the spots and go black. I throw them in the freezer and then save them for a rainy day, which was today. So here we are. Um, so I've already like taken out the bananas in the freezer, put them up in the bag. I'm gonna just mash them so we've got the mix and masher, um, which I find like our mix and chops quite handy for things like this. So I'm just gonna mash those on up. And that does really good. It's also really good for uh, using like mashing avocado for guacamole eggs, for example, and mashed potatoes. Okay, I have to stop banging because I noticed yesterday when I was banging, of course it took all the sound, so I apologize for that. Um, so I've got that, um, and then I need to mix the bananas with the sugar in the egg next. So um, I've got the sugar right here. I'm gonna pour that on in, and then I am going to beat the egg. So I've got two eggs because I doubled the recipe. So I'm just using a uh, three cup prep bowl to do this. I didn't wanna take out a huge bowl just to, to do the egg. So do that. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed, I was using the Easy Read measuring cups, uh, which are great for liquid. Um, so you can see sort of how much you have as you go. We also have dry measure ones, but um, because I was doubling the recipe, I thought I'd use the big one. Mini Whisk is great for uh, beating eggs. So I'm just gonna beat these two eggs. It just said slightly beaten. So there we go, we're gonna pour that on in. Um, and then I uh, just realized I am sort of missing a spoon. Let me grab that. So um, bamboo spoon set, I'm just gonna use that. We also have a teak set too, so I'm just gonna mix up this egg. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the butter. So I melted the butter in the microwave using my two cup prep bowl. And the other thing I have is uh, we have an easy read uh, colander, which is great for berries and stuff. So I uh, washed my berries with that and measured them at the same time goes up to three cups. So I got fresh blueberries for that. Um, and then I'm going to sort of gently mix that up. Looks good. Oh, sorry. I might also, uh, I have about three cups of flour here. So I use the four cup easy read. I'm gonna pour that in. And then um, I measured out using our adjustable uh, measuring cup or sorry, measuring cup, measuring spoon. So we have two sets, one for tablespoon and one for the teaspoon. So you get all the measurements up to a tablespoon, up to a teaspoon, which is great if you have a bunch of dry ingredients but different uh, measurings. So sometimes quarter, sometimes half, sometimes a full teaspoon. So this is your friend. And so I just put those into the one cap prep bowl before I mess you here online. And just put the butter in the sink. Okay. And then I'm just gonna sort of mix that in, but actually I wanna add a little bit of protein to my muffins. So I'm using some pre-protein here. Um, and so it kind of gives you on the back uh, a guide for how much you want, depending on the boost and the type of ingredients. So uh, pea, pro pea protein is tasteless and odorless and, and doesn't have any color to it. So it says for dry ingredients, you can do one to three. I, I think I'm running out of this pouch, so I might only be able to do two. So there's one, one, two, but then, like I said, you can put as much as you want, two, and then I'm just gonna dump the rest in because it's pretty much finishing off my pouch. So I find this really handy to put in smoothies. My daughter always gets it in, whether she knows it or not, just a little bit of extra protein. Um, you can put it in sauces and stuff as well, so it's great. So let's just mix that on up. And then once I mix it up, I'm going to uh, get my muffin tin out and use our scoop to get it into the scoop. I just helps it be less messy. So we back in a bit when I'm all mixed up and ready to uh, scoop it into the muffin tin. Back. So I've uh, mixed up the batter. And as I mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, this is our new batter, or sorry, new mixing bowl. Um, which is great. So we've got our blueberry banana all mixed up. A little bit extra put out there. So, 
Okay, so I've got uh, our regular muffin tins. Uh, so what I really love about our muffin tins, they actually are truly nonstick, but I've, I've noticed for all that, but I will show you that after. Um, I will, just for fun, spritz them. Uh, just, uh, you know, makes it a little bit easier to get out, but they generally just fall out anyways. That's what I quite love about our dishes. So if you have our kitchen spritzer, and uh, you've used it before, you know that you should only fill it up to the fill line. Overfilling it doesn't have enough room for the pressure to green. And after every time you use it, you should untwist it, let the pressure out, because otherwise uh, it'll form a round bottom and then it's kind of useless to you because it won't sit straight on the shelf. So then I've got olive oil in there. I just use olive oil for everything, but you can use all types of oils. And I just pump it, just make sure it's nice and tight because I uh, actually just loosened it to show you. Um, until it kind of gives you a lot of, um, like it pushes back almost. So once you get that and you can't get it down anymore, it should be ready to pump. And you should clean this out about once a month. But I use this um, instead of Pam or any other aerosol sprays because I found out um, about a year ago maybe that uh, the aerosol sprays have propane in them and that often will um, deteriorate your nonstick pans where if you're just using actual olive oil, there's nothing but olive oil in there. It's, it's not gonna wreck anything. So I'm just gonna deteriorate that or sprinkle, not deteriorate the, the tins. And depending on your olive oil or grapeseed oil, whatever you're using, the heavier oils um, don't uh, mist as well as like the lighter oils, but that's okay. I just sort of spritz it to give it a good thing. So I've got that fixed up and ready to go. I'm gonna loosen the neck here. Um, so then when I need it next time, it's all ready to go. Um, and so as I mentioned, uh, to kind of make it a little bit mess free, you don't have uh, dough or batter all over around your um, baking tin, I'm just using the large scoop. So I'm just gonna scoop that in because you only need your wells to be about three quarters full. And that's exactly what this large scoop does for you, exactly what you need for each well. So no mess, it's awesome. So I like that. So this um, recipe is supposed to make 12 singly, so I was assuming 24 if I double it, so two muffin tins should be adequate. Um, I only have two muffin tins, I like to have two of everything, so I've got two, so hopefully it'll go the whole way. But as you can see, the scooping makes it completely mess-free and uh, makes it nice and quick, instead of trying to pour from bowl. We do have a batter bowl if you have more liquidy ingredients. It has a pouring spout which is quite handy but I find with a muffin batter it's uh, a bit thicker and so the scoop is your best friend for getting it in there mess free. Anyways, so I will just keep on doing this and then we will come back uh, when I'm ready to put them in the oven. And we're back. So I have uh, two full tins of uh, muffins. The batter made a little bit extra, so um, I utilized my uh, mini loaf pan uh, for the rest of the batter. So I'm gonna make four mini loaves as well as 24 muffins. So we're gonna pop that into the oven and um, we're gonna bake that for, uh, it says 20 minutes. So um, I have a convection oven. So I tend to drop it down 25 degrees for the convection oven, so 350, and then I'll leave it at 20 minutes, but I'm gonna check it in about 15 to see how they're doing. So we'll be back um, in a minute. We're back, and I'm gonna pop these into the oven. So I've set my oven at 350. Again, it's convection. So I'm um, just gonna open up it here. I don't know if you can see, so let's just turn it down a little bit here. Sorry about that, I don't want the camera to end up at the sink. Okay, so my oven said, you might see I have these uh, red oven racks. These were in our outlet. I'm not sure if they still are, but they're just really great. So you're not going to burn yourself if you get a little bit too close with your um, oven mitts and whatnot. So we're going to pop these in my oven. Oops. Second one on that side. So two fit quite nicely. I just have a standard size oven. So nothing fancy there. And then I'm going to put the oven or the um, loaf pan sort of in the center below them. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for 
20 minutes and um, I'm just gonna set the timer for that. So 20 and set that and uh, we, we shall come back and look at that uh, shortly. Um, if you're noticing my lovely uh, tea towels, so perk of being a consultant, you get uh, little perks along the way. So um, if you're interested in joining my team, then I can tell you about the wonderful perks you can get. Anyways, uh, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna check them in about 15 minutes to see how they're doing, and then uh, we'll be back when I'm ready to take them out. See you in a bit. Hey there. So I've just got about three minutes left here on the uh, oven. Uh, to have the muffins ready. So what I'm just gonna do is open up my muffin here. Um, great silicone gloves. I don't know if you have a pair of uh, gloves or need some, these are really great. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna get my uh, cake tester and releaser, pop it in. Oh yeah, those are totally ready. So I'm gonna take those out now. So let's do that. Um, what I'm gonna do here is just pull open the oven, take them on out. And then um, I'll be back in just a second so I don't burn okay, myself. Okay, so I've taken all the muffins out in the loaf pan and I'm just going to do a quick uh, demo of how easily these things come out. So this is the cooling rack. They do stack and they fold up nicely to keep them into your oven. So how I usually do it is I just pop it right on top. I'm going to get my mitts. Flip it over. Hopefully I'm not blocking, I'm blocking. <laughs> and then you just pop out. See? Told you, non-stick. Anyways, those are my muffins. I will take them out and uh, enjoy one when it's cooled a little bit so I don't burn my mouth. Anyways, have, hope you're having a great day.